Before beginning with the video, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated of my latest videos. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Best of PowerPoint. Today we will be discussing about a very amazing feature of PowerPoint known as the trigger button. So the word trigger basically means to cause something to happen or to cause a device to function. And in the context of PowerPoint animations, it is an action button. When a trigger is applied to an item in the slide and when we click that item, it will perform an action or an animation. Let me just practically show you how to use the trigger feature in the PowerPoint software. What I'm gonna do is I'll insert two images in my slide. One image is of an apple and the other one is of an orange. I'll be giving a heading to both the images. Now apply any basic animation to these images. I will apply fade animation effect to both the images. Now go to the animations tab and here you can find this trigger button. So it says set a special start condition for an animation. Click on the trigger button, select on the click off and you will see that a list of all the elements appears before us which we have inserted in our slide. Let's first rename all these elements so that it becomes easy to select them. So open the selection pane and rename all the elements which you have inserted in your slide. After renaming all the elements, again go to the trigger button and now it becomes easy to select the element which we want to select. Now I want that the apple image should appear when I click on the heading which says apple and similarly the orange image should appear when I click on the corresponding heading of the orange. So I will trigger the apple image animation on the click of the apple text and I will trigger the orange picture animation on the click of the orange text. Let's play it in a slideshow. So you can see that when I move my cursor to the apple text, it changes to a pointing hand and as soon as I click on it, the image of the apple appears. Similarly, when I click on the orange text, the image of the orange appears. So basically what I have done is, I have triggered both the images to their respective headings. And this is really very useful when you are presenting your slideshow and want your elements to appear on the click of some other elements. And this feature is not only for the animations, the same feature can be applied to a sound or a video too. Let's take an example where I will trigger this image of a bicycle bell to its bell sound. Insert both the elements and rename them. and then trigger the sound to the image. You can place the sound icon out of the slide. So when I click on the image and sound gets played. Similarly, we can trigger a video to play on the click of its thumbnail image. Insert the video and the image in the slide. Place the video out of the slide. Let's rename all the elements. Now trigger the video to play on the click of this play button. Also under the playback tab, select the option to play the video in full screen. So when you click on this play button, the video gets played. So by now you must have learned how to use this amazing feature of PowerPoint where you can link and trigger any element with one another, whether it's an image, text or an object. You can also try different ideas and develop some new animations by using this amazing feature. So that's it guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. Please like and share the video and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.